everyone and thanks for tuning in to another Fresh Start video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Colorful Life replacement air filter for the Dyson Purifier model numbers TP01, TP02, TP03, and BP01. So this particular filter will be compared to the equivalent Dyson part number 968126-03. Here we have the package which just arrived through the typical Amazon delivery service. Well sealed, but as I opened the package, I noticed that the contents were floating around loose within the box. I know that there isn't much that can break on this item. However, I believe in best practices when shipping something, whatever it is, since you never know how delicate one item could be over another. So let's open up the second box, which actually contains a filter. At first glance, it doesn't seem as though this would be the correct filter due to the dimensions of this particular box. Also, one more thing to notice as I'm opening this, well sealed, so I like that. Once out of the package, I realize, yes, this is the correct filter. Before I open up the sealed bag, I'll give a quick inspection of the outside contents and also on the inside. So the protective bag is actually not that hard to open since it is sealed with a resealable tacky edge. Already looking at the package, I see there's a cleaning brush floating around inside. Instead of sliding the filter out of the bag, I chose to hold the bag by its sides and let the filter slide out on its own. It was much easier than fighting the situation and the process. Looking at the brush, it's nothing more than a plastic handle with some soft nylon bristles attached to it. I would imagine that you can use this to clean off any excess trapped dust particles on the outer mesh screen of the filter. Kind of like a maintenance procedure while the filter is still good but not worn out. Personally, I would not use this method since I have compressed air in my garage. I could easily attach a blowgun to a hose and just blow it right off and continue going. Or you could even use a compressed air canister that you would use to blow dust off of your keyboard on your desk just to get the dust off. But be sure to do that somewhere where you're not going to have that dust blown and recirculating in your environment. So here we have the official Dyson filter next to the Colorful Life filter. Some quick observations. The mesh on the outer surface has larger spacing on the Dyson version, the other having a tighter net, which I would think is a little bit more preferable since having a tighter mesh would keep more dust off of the actual filter element. The Dyson filter is better detailed in the sense that it has a removal instruction printed on the outer filter bezel. Also notice the Dyson website printed on there. The other filter does not have anything to show branding or removal instructions. And the same can be noticed on the other side of the Colorful Life filter. Notice the black tabs positioned on each side of the filter. This is for easy removal of the filter from inside of the purifier unit. So it allows you to grab them and just lift the filter right out. Both filters have the same measurement in height at seven and three eighths of an inch. This is important to know for fitment purposes. They are also the same width at seven and three eighths of an inch across. Interesting that they both have the same exact measurement in both width and height. I compared my measurements with each filter to see if there was a variation between the two, but both checked out to be equal in dimensions. So removing and installing the filter is very simple. First find the buttons on each side of the filter blower housing. 
press them both in at the same time and lift the blower nozzle up from the base. This will expose the inner mechanism that controls the oscillation function and also houses the blower motor. You'll also find the filter surrounding the mechanism. It's real easy to recognize since it's the only green colored item within this shell. Grab the two felt tabs on each side of the old filter and pull it right out. Here's a closer look at the tabs so that you can see what you'll be grabbing when you pull the filter out. In order to make future removal of this filter easy, I added a two or three inch strip of tape on each edge of the outer filter bezel. With one strip of tape on each end of the filter bezel, this will serve as a way to pull the filter out of the base instead of having to turn the entire base upside down and letting the filter drop out on its own. You know that could be a little bit messy since you might have some trap dust and you don't want that getting loose as you're taking out the filter. Inserting the filter is just a reverse. Just drop it in. Nothing special needs to be done. So here's what it looks like after it's inserted. Assembling the unit is really easy. If you look closely below, there are two white grabbing tabs and a gear track that operates the oscillation function. Place the blower head unit back onto the base while making sure that these components all align with the components on the base. You're almost done. The final step in this whole process is resetting the filter usage meter. In order to do this, you'll need the remote control that pertains to this particular filter unit. Press and hold the power button and you'll notice the countdown starting at 5. Once it finishes, you'll see a check mark. The filter meter is reset back to zero. The meter will now indicate green and start from the bottom of the scale. So that's basically it. This is a very simple process and I know that you can follow these instructions. I found it absolutely easier to find and order this filter for next day shipping through Amazon rather than buying it through a traditional source. As a matter of fact, it was back ordered for some time and that's how I stumbled upon this particular filter as I was looking for a backup source to replace my current filter which was already used up. The price I paid for this particular filter through Amazon as an off-brand product is definitely an attention grabber. You also might be wondering about the longevity of this product through normal usage. I will post my results in the description box below so look out for updates coming soon. For now, if you need a filter replacement and would like to save some money and time, I highly recommend that you buy this filter. I will leave a link in the description box below for you to click on and purchase this filter. Thanks for watching and I certainly hope that this video will inspire a fresh start when it comes to buying Dyson replacement filters. Be sure to subscribe, like, share this video with all of your friends, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you won't miss any future episodes. Bye for now.